Do you know your blood type? If you haven't been in any medical situations where blood type is important, you might not. I certainly don't, and I can't speak for everyone, but most of my friends and family said that they too had no idea. My dad earned half a point for correctly answering red, among other responses from my friends like boiling and frozen. But there's actually a lot of mystery around blood. We know that there are eight main blood groups that make up most of the world's population. A, B, AB, and O, and a negative and positive for each. But it turns out that scientists still don't know why we evolved different blood types, and that may remain a mystery for a long time. But for now, science can at least tell me a little bit about my own blood. That curiosity led me to buy this test. It's called the Elden Card. It's cheap, simple, and it takes just a few minutes to determine your blood type. All you have to do is prick your finger, apply four drops of blood, and mix the samples with the different serums. Depending on how the samples agglutinate, or clump, you can determine your blood type. In developed parts of the world, it's not crucial to know your blood type off the top of your head. Doctors will typically run tests before any major procedure, and if there's any doubt in a medical emergency, you'll most likely receive O-negative blood. That's the universal donor blood that's safe to give to any A, B, AB, or O recipient. But what would happen if you received the wrong type of blood? Well, some curious minds found that out the hard way. For thousands of years, nobody really understood blood. A Greek doctor from 200 CE believed that it was created from food and liver. And this school of thought lived on for nearly 1,500 years. It wasn't until the early 17th century that a British doctor named William Harvey discovered that blood actually circulated through the body. And this spawned a new age of experimentation with blood. In 1665, an English physician successfully kept one dog alive by transfusing it with the blood of another dog. But then things got kind of weird. Just two years later, doctors began experimenting with xenotransfusions. That is, transfusing humans with animals' blood, such as sheep. And those human patients died. It wasn't until 1900 that we finally realized people and animals actually have different types of blood that determine whose blood can mix with whose. And that's where those different letters come into play. If you're type A, your immune system will perceive type B blood as an intruder and trigger an autoimmune response that can cause kidney failure, extensive blood clotting, and even shock. And the reverse is true of type B blood. The immune system will attack type A. AB blood, however, can accept both A and B blood without triggering that autoimmune response. Things start to get a little more complicated when you introduce the rhesus factor, or the negative and positive part of your blood types. Positives can accept negatives, but the opposite is extremely dangerous. And to further complicate things, scientists have discovered dozens of more blood types, such as the Duffy blood group, which can determine your susceptibility to malaria, or the HH blood type, which one in 10,000 people in India have. But the vast majority of humans fall into this ABO system. As for why humans evolved this complicated system of blood types and compatibility, we don't really know. The original mutations are thought to date back nearly 20 million years. But look, whatever the biology is behind blood typing, it's a real practical thing that matters. And in many parts of the world, knowing your blood type is fairly common knowledge. In Japan, it's linked to your personality, sort of like a horoscope. You can even add your blood type to your Facebook profile. And in 2011, former Japanese Minister of Reconstruction Ryu Matsumoto blamed his irritable and impetuous behavior on his blood type, type B, after he was forced to step down from his seat. Personality types aside, I did this Elden Card test because it's just not a bad idea to know your blood type. If you're traveling somewhere that's rural or doesn't have access to advanced medicine, it's good for you and your traveling companions to know your types, just in case of an accident along the way. And in a big emergency closer to home, blood banks often put out calls for donors of a specific type. And remember, if you're type O negative, you're an extremely useful universal donor. So knowing your type can give you a little peace of mind. And hey, if you're in Japan, it's a great way to break the ice. Although type Bs don't really have the best reputation. But I'm fine. I'm A positive. Hey everyone, just a note that you can also find your blood type by donating blood, serving in the military, or just by asking your doctor during routine blood work. But the Elden Card is fun and kind of do it yourself. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to our new Verge Science YouTube channel where we're putting out a video every week. Thank you.